and welcome to Angela's Food and Wellness. Thanks for tuning in. I just want to share with you quickly this delicious coleslaw um, recipe, how I make my coleslaw and also the dressing. So let's um, dig into it. For my coleslaw, I have this leftover cabbage I'm going to use and three carrots. Okay. To start with, I'm going to grate my carrots very quick. So carrots are very good for us as well and they contain a lot of um, good nutrients and particularly good for the eyesight so I also include a lot of carrots in my diet. Eating a lot of carrot could potentially actually delay um, the use of glasses, reading glasses. So So that's carrot grated. Next, I'm going to grate my cabbage. Or fried grate. I'll just dice it. I'll dice it by removing the stump first of all. Because that doesn't taste good when it gets into the cabbage. That bit doesn't taste really good. So I'll get that off. I don't think I'll be using it a whole lot, so I just cut out a bit. I've washed and peeled it, it had some um, stuff. So I'm going to also go ahead and grate my um, cabbage. So I'm using the bigger grater bit. Um, some people will use a um, food processor or dice it by hand, whatever works for you. Well, I dice it sometimes and I, I grate it like this sometimes. So, this is a quick recipe. And trying to do things very quick here. So if you've got cabbage, sometimes when you've used it, it does um, stay long in the fridge and you're wondering what will I do with this. It's always good to be able to make a coleslaw like this out of this and also I would um, make the coleslaw maybe the day before so next I'm going to prepare the dressing and then we'll mix it so for my dressing I've got um, about one tablespoon of one tablespoon of um, mayonnaise I've got a, a tablespoon of mayonnaise there and half a cup of milk or you could use double cream if you wish and um, I'm also going to add in the two heap teaspoon of coconut sugar so that's going to give it a bit of sweetness and some garlic powder you could also use um coconut powder for this instead of the garlic powder and I'm also going to add some black pepper not too much and it does feel like I need a bit more so I'll just add a bit more and just mix that thoroughly until it's smooth you guys smooth consistency so this is making your dressing for your coleslaw and also it's actually for best result if you um can if you plan ahead and make this the night before you need to use it it's actually and um, the, the taste is so 
yummy and delicious. So, uh, my dressing is ready and I'm just going to toss it in there. Until my chopped grated cabbage and carrot and then just mix. So that's, that looks so good. <laughs> All right, let me put this in. So I'm also going to grate some onion into my mix. That gives it a very unique um, taste. You could add this to the um, sauce before adding to your coleslaw. Careful not to break your fingers. That will do. We so just mix that together. It all by itself. It is so delicious. And so you might just add a bit more of garlic. I'm not feeling the garlic taste in there. So um, just a bit more. And yeah, we're ready. So it's simple, it's quick, it's easy. Cabbage is very good for us, so if we if we're not too generous with the mayonnaise and the um, I use skimmed milk by the way, so in, instead of double cream I use skimmed with milk and I also use coconut sugar um, just to cut out a bit of the calories. So yeah, that's it. That's our uh, coleslaw already. It is absolutely delicious. It goes with fried rice, jollof rice, rice and stew, whichever way you like it. Check out my recipes for fried rice and jollof rice and all the other stuff you can eat this with. You could go with the peppered beef, the peppered smoked turkey, if you're cutting it down on carbs, just the salad and the meat or um, smoked turkey. So that's um, a coleslaw made. For best result, if you can, um, if it sits in the fridge, I'll cover that with a clean thing, sits in the fridge for overnight to the next day if that's when I need to use it and it is absolutely delicious. For watching, let's know how you get on when you do try your coleslaw. Let's um, know what you think. It's always good to have your feedback so please do leave your feedback. Do keep them coming and also like and share this video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. I've got loads and loads of exciting recipes coming your way. So until next time, stay safe. God bless.